shark, do 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 do. Baby shark, do 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 do. Baby shark, do 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 do. Baby shark. Give me cookies. Give me cookies. Give me cookies. Oh 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 goodness. What you doing in there, Doc? Is it bad, Doctor? Oh no! Ah! I've got a few different things in mind. One being chopping down a tree with an axe, and uh, I've got some other stuff in mind as well. So we'll go down here and see what we can get into. It is going to be probably a little messy getting in there, though. My truck stays pretty dirty through the winter. It doesn't really do a lot of good to wash it because the next day I get I get it dirty again a lot of the time. So. Pony. Happy to enter my workspace. Every time I come. I may be a little sore and wore out sometimes, but some days may be nicer than others. But honestly, I like it when it's uh, cold doing this stuff. But. It's definitely cooler now than it was anyway, so that's a big plus. Beautiful here. I say that a lot, I know, but I like to acknowledge that beauty every day. There's been times, plenty of times in my life where, and like I said before, I'm not trying to say this to down anybody working at a factory at all. I respect, you work, I respect that completely. But uh, I come out here and see this rather than seeing walls, you know, and machines and and a supervisor other than that little guy that little guy there uh yeah i really love it very blessed very happy i'm happy now if i would have listened to other people i would have never done this a lot of people was telling me too many people did what i was trying to get into and they just didn't seem too optimistic about it but i've noticed those same kind of people are the ones that are afraid to do it themselves and that's why a lot of them never do and uh, I don't want to be like that. I'm glad I took the step, and I'm glad that we reap what we sow. I feel if we if we work hard, we're willing to put the time in and work. We can uh, we can get quite a bit out of it. Whatever we put in is what we get out. You reap what you sow. Got a different truck, don't you? Is that an old Dodge? It is old Dodge. Really? Old Dodgey watch, the old one. Looks like a. Uh, Yeah, maybe an 80s model or something. I like that. Roll up your window. I like a dodgy watch. Yeah, roll your window up. Nah, I'm good. Oh, no. What the problem is, little fella? It's gonna stink. You don't like that stinky water? No, no, no. Let's put it in four wheel drive. We're a little, it's a little wet back here. Nothing the old dodgy can't handle. Tell you one thing I do worry about out here this time of year because you can't really see into these woods. Something I worry about is, is a black bear. My mother lives down the road from here, probably just a mile, and uh, she used to have a garden out. Goodness. Okay, we about lost control on this old logging road right there. Anyways, as I was saying, she used to have a garden out, and uh, she used to have a garden out, and there were black bear tracks there. Robert's gonna think we're trying to live back here. It's in our bushcraft shelter. Looks like your roof may have caved in, Cardi. What, what? what kind of quality are you building with, yeah, boy? Aww. Did it or no? Yeah. No? It's holding up. Still holding up pretty good. Grab old faithful. Grab old faithful, the Fiskers. No, Put your binder back up. Oh no, is that what I ran over? My oil? Or that? That's what I ran over. Something with a hole. That was gas. Gasolina. Oh, stuff is expensive right now, too. We don't want to be wasting that stuff. Anyways, who's old faithful? Did you get it? 
Excalibur. I'm not a magic kind of guy. I don't like magic, but I like the name Excalibur. I don't even know if that is magic. I can't remember exactly how that went. But I'm naming it Excalibur. That's its name. Old Faithful Excalibur. Anyways. metal there's a big one there we need a good dead one do i see another big dead standing over there it's way over there i want bigger i want big hold on wait no that, that one's not dead that one's got a dead piece on it there but the other side's alive that's an oak right there there's a big one we may have the one we want there's a big dead one right there, a big round. Uh, there is one. But that's that's very dead. But yeah. I would not go in there just for that. Oh. I want to make sure if there's any bears here, they know we're here. Hopefully there ain't no bears here though. I hear a creek or something. Huh? A bug or something. No, I hear a creek. What running water? There's a tree that's fell right across the path. That's probably one of them he was wanting me to clear out. He said something about some of his roads being blocked back here. And uh, I told him I would clear it out. There's a dead standing, looks like. Yeah. But, uh, not, not what I'm looking for. There's another one dead standing. Actually, I'm seeing quite a few now that we're back here. Oh, yeah. We're just so deep, and I don't want to be too far away from the vehicle with bear, black bears in this area. This honestly is prime territory for them, and I do not want to walk up on it. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah. i tell you one thing. A bear comes at me, I'm not laying down in the fetal position and getting eaten, I'll tell you that. I'm putting old Excalibur right in its head if I can. Yeah. <laughs> I, I ain't going to lay down and get eaten. Maybe. I've already thought about it. I've done made my mind up. Hopefully, I never run into one. Yeah. Yeah. Can't climb a tree because they climb quicker. I'm not going to lay down and get eaten because that'd be horrible. Me, uh, I could push Carter down and let it eat him and run. No. But I better not do that. Well, Robert walks back through here, but still, they don't mean it's safe. This is getting thick through here, as you see. I mean, this seriously is prime territory for a bear. Perfect home for a bear. You think we can get the truck back here? I don't know. Without getting stuck? I don't know if we could right now or not. I mean, I'd... Yeah, I can get that tree out of the way. Maybe we should go up that way and look closer to the truck. Huh? Maybe we should go closer to the truck and look instead of way back here in bear country. Yeah, bear country. Get up here, boy. Bear. Come on. The winter, you can see through all this, but right now, man, this this stuff is thick. And right here, you probably find some tracks right here for something. Anyways, I don't know if I said it earlier, but she, beside of her garden, my mom seen black bear tracks what they said it was anyways and as crazy as it sounds they even say we have panthers here yeah. in kentucky black panthers oh, yeah. i know that sounds crazy but one of the guys was telling me that he used to see them on the hill on these hills around here when he was a little boy big huge black cats same thing really as a mountain lion a cougar but just solid black and my mom and brother right down the road from here we're at a creek one day and said they seen I think three or four of the kittens and said it sounded they sound like a I can't remember if they said a baby crying or a woman screaming but anyways they have a distinct sound and said they said they look like huge huge house cats solid black and they they took off running my brother said that I think I see a good one right there Carter right there 
That's a standing dead. That's a pretty big tree. That's not that far in there. That one's nice right there. And the truck's right there. That's, cool. That's a good one. Nice. I don't walk through a web. That's a pretty good one. Oh, I don't know. That one looks kind of hollow in the middle, actually. I'm looking at it. Man, it would be good if it wasn't for that. Now let's keep going. I think we can find something better. Anyways, as I was saying, they said they looked like large uh, house cats, but solid black and a lot bigger than a regular. I mean, probably, probably as big as a full-grown cat or bigger, and they were just kittens. I think a mountain lion, a cougar, gets around 180, 200 pounds. And they stalk you. That's another thing, too. If I want to... I ain't gonna lay down and they get eaten, I promise you. I may get eaten, but I'm gonna put up a fight doing it. I don't care if it's a bear or what. I'm gonna try anyways. Old Excalibur's going in the bear head. Yeah. It may only go in once and I may get eaten, but it's at least, I'm at least gonna try to bury it in that bear's head. <clears throat> but anyways, uh, as I was saying, I'm gonna, oh no, what? big spider web. I hate walking through them things. The big, ugly, fat, and spiky spiders right in the face. Oh, How many times has that happened? <laughs> Come on, this is a logging trail here, old one. Huh? Yeah. Huh? This ain't been used for a while, but you can definitely tell. I'm not tripping. It's a logging trail. I'm sick and tired of them poison ivy. So I'm not tripping. But uh, anyway, like I said, I, I'm going gonna to pretend the bear's head is a big piece of oak, and I'm going to aim for the middle if, if that ever happens. I'm going to try to get away safely if I can. That's the first thing. Don't get me wrong. I ain't going to try to fight a bear for no reason. But I'm saying if a bear comes at me, I am not laying down and letting it chew on me. Especially when I got an axe. I'm going to try to bury that axe in the head. They're green. They're alive. There's a big oak right here down. Right in the middle of the path. Big oak. Big white oak. That's good to know because that's probably... Oh, my God, it's oh Yeah, that one just came over. That's probably a good load of wood right there anyways. Hold on, I may see a big one here. Yeah, that whole thing just fell over. It's a decent sized oak. That's at least a truck load. I'd say not a full truck like I'd normally get, but. Mm -hmm, uprooted. Okay. Let's go back on the logging trail. Just seen this thing. It's huge black snake, right? Watch out. Here it went. Go, go. You're okay. Don't worry. He ran. Go on. Now, we literally were walking right there. <laughs> so, that's why I say sometimes you got to watch in here for snakes, especially this time of year. I'm not exaggerating when I say that. Yeah, come on. He ran. They're afraid. Hey, don't run. Just watch where you're walking. They'll run from you a lot of times. You've seen them run. Honestly, I was wondering if that was a black snake or a blue racer. That was a big one. I'd say that was that was three or four feet long, that snake. There's uh, these snakes around here. My papa used to call them blue racers. I don't know if that's for sure what they're called, but they will chase you. And when I seen the color of that one, it looked black, but it had a kind of like a bluish hue to it as well. And I was wondering to myself, is that a blue racer or a black snake? But I mean, I was thinking it was a black snake because of how big it was. And they're good for eating uh, eating poisonous snakes, venomous snakes. That's actually the first one I've seen back here in the years that I've been here. But I don't know who was a big one. And we had just walked there too. I told you, you gotta watch when you're here. That's why when I'm in this stuff, you know, in this log pile, I always talk about, I worry about copperheads and rattlesnakes. I do not want to get bit by one of them out here, and they're here. That's why the winter is just so much better doing this. But it got started early this year, and I think a big part of it is because they're saying we're supposed to have a bad winter, so people are trying to prepare for that. And I'm glad. I'm glad of that. I'll come out here and face the snakes. I just don't want to get bit by one. Okay, here's one that may work. This one's 
dying. As you can see, the bark's coming off. See the mushrooms on it here? This is an oak. Um, if you look up this side, the, the uh, leaves are all brown. There's one branch that forks out here to the left and it has some green leaves, but this tree is dying. It's an oak. From what I can tell, it's a white oak. And uh, it's a pretty good size. I don't know, that may be two feet across at the bottom. And uh, that little one next to it there is dead too. Cut it. Cut. Good limb wood. But uh, as you can see, like I said, that's those leaves are brown. I don't know if you can tell that or not. And then it has one branch that forks out and the leaves are still alive on it right there. But the tree itself is dying. It's pretty good size in diameter. I think I'll take it. Something you've got to watch too with these, whether you're felling it with a saw or with an ax. Probably more so with an ax because you're going to be jarring the tree more, but I don't know if you can tell or not, but there's a branch right there somewhere and it's completely dead. And if that thing fell from that high, I heard a story of a guy before and I know I tell about these horror stories sometimes. I don't like them either, but definitely something to be aware of. I heard a story of a guy before having a limb fall from way up and it went through him and I think went all the way through him and into the ground, if I'm not mistaken. That's how serious this is. And that one right there, I'm telling you right now, is is scary. I'll be watching that one. That's the main one I see. And I'm going to take this little tree out here as a little sidekick. I'm going to go and take him out before I even start on the big one. But like I said, I see one at least that I, that worries me when I start banging on this thing. Stay back. A piece of white oak. Really need to keep an eye on that branch. Really be smart to have a helmet doing this.
ook in het jouw. Ook aan het jouw. Kijk hoe hij doet. Het takes a lot with an axe to chop these down. It doesn't just go down like it does with the chainsaw. If you're out here doing this, be safe. Clean your work area out really good. I went around this tree and gave my I tried to give myself a pass to get out of there. Always do that. If you if you've got if you've not cleaned it out around it and you've not got a clear path and you go to get away and you trip over something that could make all the difference of whether you live or die. So just make sure you're a perimeter around the tree and a good ways off. Like have a whole path to get out of the way. Not just around the tree, but have a path to get out to exit. So if it something happens, if something goes wrong because it can, you have a way to get out of there. You don't want a tree falling on you. Don't do this either, like I said, if you're not real experienced. Right now I'm notching, I'm putting my notch in it right now. This is the direction I want the tree to fall. And I'm, once I get this deeper, I'm gonna go to the other side and start doing my back cut. Um, you gotta be very careful if they're rotten, the trees are rotten, this one's solid. But if they're rotten, you've gotta be very careful. You gotta be very careful, period. And then this one has some dead limbs up in the top. Watch for those very close. Have a perimeter, have the perimeter cleared out and a path of escape. And uh, you just need to know what you're doing, really. I mean, really, it'd be good to be experienced with felling a tree with a chainsaw because it's kind of the same idea. You want to keep your hinge wood. When I first did this, the first big tree I ever did, I completely cut the hinge wood off. I didn't even know what hinge wood was. Completely cut it off. I was shaking doing the tree. Some old man told me I could have it. It was out on a cattle farm. It's a huge tree, bigger than this one. And uh, it jumped off the stump completely as it was falling. It fell maybe that far and then jumped literally off the stump and went right to the side of the tree that I had previously been standing on. I had, to, I had a 16 inch bar, I think, so I had to, the tree was so big I had to cut from this side and then go to the other side and cut. And thank goodness I wasn't still on that side because it jumped to, that, to the side that I had just moved from. Can't stress enough how dangerous this is you really can't i don't ever want to be responsible for somebody losing their lives so if somebody ever watches these videos and they want to go do this stuff be very cautious if you ain't experienced just don't even do it get with your dad or your papa or uncle or a tree service or something and learn a little bit about it first and then even maybe start out with some smaller trees you know and a small a small chainsaw and some chaps and all the safety equipment Start out with little stuff and you'll learn you'll learn that way. Don't go messing with something like this until you get a little bit of experience. That's my recommendation. There's a little ugly, but...
clean it up a little. Uh, hungry. Oh. Woo. Woo. Here, puppy dog. <laughs> water boy, water. Hurry. Hurry, boy, come on. Come on now, boy. Hurry, boy. Nowhere near two catches. I ain't trying to dive off the hill to catch a water ball. Oh, this oak, it ain't no joke. My fish cuz ever got broke. It might get broke on a big oak, cuz this oak, it ain't no joke. If that fish could ever got broke, it'd probably be on hook. Cuz this oak, it ain't no joke now, you better watch this oak. It's a heart thumping. I control my breathing, get it back down. Firewood is good for getting your heart rate up. Notice the better in shape I am, the quicker my heart rate goes down. Try to inhale through the nose like a big deep breath and exhale out through the mouth a big one. Try, try to stay calm and just relax. My heart rate's down already.
Hear the thunder. See, it's a pretty good sized tree, big oak, white oak. Anyways, I'm wanting it to fall right around there. So right around that grass there is what I'm aiming for. Anyways, that's what I'm going for. heart rate going more than splitting does it's more consistent it's just chop 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 it's really about the same amount of force as you're putting in the splitting it's just far more consistent and i don't go ch 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 do All right, this oak is no joke. My heart rate gets up like this. Beats fast. Every now and then it's like it, it beats harder. So I try to get it, I try to get it to come down. Every now and then there's like a beat that beats hard. So I try to get it to come down. Keep the going quick. Keep that body temperature down a little too. Takes the energy, buddy, to do this stuff. Uh, chopping is that's the hardest thing there is to me. Chopping, it's harder than splitting because it's just more consistent. Similar to splitting, you're just swinging from an angle, but which is harder, really, swinging from an angle. But it's more consistent. I mean, think if every time you swing down when your hand splitting, if you did this for a minute straight and kept a consistent pace, which would be very hard to do doing this, honestly. You could probably get close to one swing a second 
or one every two seconds anyways, probably one every two seconds. So that's 30 swings a minute. That's probably 30, 30 to 45 to maybe even 60 if you're swinging one per second. That's probably double what you're gonna get hand splitting in a minute. If not more, depending on who you are. It's much more consistent. The output, the output is much more consistent. The energy, the strain on your body, your heart rate going up, everything is much more consistent. It's the on, you know, if this was pine or something like that, it'd be much easier, but oak is, my goodness. I've never chopped a sycamore down, but a sycamore is much harder to split than oak. I'll say that. Hardest thing I've ever split. I've said that too in more than one video, but uh, I looked it up online because I was so curious about why it was so hard to split. I mean, I had limb wood and my ax was bouncing off of it. I mean, I'd hit it hard as I could again and again. And I split it before though, I split loads of it, but I mean, some of it's horrible stuff. It's either when it's green, it's worse or when it's seasoned. I can't remember to be honest with you. One of the two was far worse than the other one. Cause I think I've done both if I'm not mistaken. And one was far easier. I was able to split up a load of one of them. And I've heard it's not the best wood either for firewood. It, it's the BTUs aren't that great. But sycamore really just isn't very good for the firewood business. Maybe you can mix it in every now and then with stuff, but, but anyways, they used to use sycamore as butcher blocks. So somebody found out in the old days that that stuff was tough. They said, let's use this stuff as butcher blocks. What I mean by consistent, my heart rate's up already. The old days, them, those old uh, big two-man saws, those were the way to go to cut them down. But if, you've probably seen those videos before. If anyone's a firewood fan or just a work fan, period, those guys that used to do those redwoods, there'd be one man on each side of that swinging the axe. And they'd take turns one after the other. And I'm telling you, get out there and do this sometime and see what it does to your heart. They would do it. I mean, I, there's no time how many blows in a row they would do with the axe. The men were in shape. I've done this before too, and just seeing the physical drain that it has on your body, it made me think of some of the, the old days, you know, how they used to go to war with swords and stuff like that. Even in the Bible, you can read about it. There were times in the Bible, I think I read about how that they would fight until the going down of the sun, I believe it said. I mean, could you imagine swinging swords that long, getting cut, getting hit by arrows, all this stuff, surrounded by people, not knowing who's on your side and who's not. They probably, many of them probably killed their own men in the heat of the battle. But when you do something like this, it kind of opens your eyes and makes you think, wow, those men all day were swinging swords and swinging axes and thrusting spears and all that stuff. It just... Fascinating, really, what men are capable of. Yep.
Ah, went right where I wanted. <laughs> Woo! Feeling a big old oak. Well, of course, you haven't standing there. I told you, it goes way over there. Look at that, there's the grass I wanted it to hit. Cleared the path and everything. I got a big old oak down. And like I said, you see those. Whoo, it's a workout, my goodness. But man, that's an accomplishing feeling too. That's the biggest one I've ever done, so. See ya. You can see the leaves there are dead. It's a big white oak, but, and then they had one limb that had some green ones. The tree was dying though. You can see the mushrooms on it and stuff. There's a lot of good limb wood on it. A lot of good limb wood. Down here is pretty good size too. Tough stuff, buddy. Some tough stuff. Went right where I wanted it to go. Man, it's good when things work out how you want them to. That sure ain't the prettiest thing, but it worked. Worked just how I wanted it to. Here's the hinge. A notch. Came back here and started back cutting it here. Fell right where I wanted it to go. Carter's uh, shelter was there and he was afraid it was gonna hit it. I told him, I don't know if I told him, but I mentioned earlier on here, right there's where I wanted it to go was the grass right over there and that's where it went. It's great. Got it done just in time too, cause it's about to start storming here, I think. I don't know how big around that tree is. One, two. Yeah, about two and a half of my hands, however long that is. I don't know how long my hand is. Maybe, I don't know, six inches or something. I don't know. Seven inches, I don't know. I'm guessing that's around 18 inches. Wide oak, man, that stuff is tough. Fine, that's a rush too, but my goodness, I'm telling you, that gets your heart rate going quicker than hand splitting. Chopping is just far more consistent. It's a pretty good size oak. Loud, it's a big boom. <laughs> 